Welcome to our channel, my fellow billionaire. If you're a creator, storyteller, or just someone with a passion for bringing ideas to life, you're in the right place. Imagine a time not too long ago when creating stunning animations or movie trailers was reserved for big studios with massive budgets and teams of professionals. It could take months, if not years, to produce the kind of animated content that grabs attention and tells a compelling story. But today, the game has changed thanks to cutting-edge AI tools. What once seemed impossible or out of reach is now just a click away. Whether you want to create a fun kids cartoon, a jaw-dropping 3D animation, or even a full-blown movie trailer, the power is now at your fingertips. And the best part is, you don't need to be an expert animator, or have years of experience under your belt. In this video, we're going to show you how to harness the latest AI-driven technologies to create your very own YouTube animation video trailer. From concept to final cut, we'll guide you through the entire process step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you'll not only have a professional-looking trailer, but also the confidence to keep creating and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So whether you're a seasoned creator or just starting out, get ready to dive into the future of animation. Let's make something amazing together. But before we get started, I would like us to watch this movie trailer generated entirely using AI. And so it began. The Lord of the Dog Kingdom, in hot pursuit of the rabbit. Unleashed a storm of bullets. Yet the rabbit deftly dodged them all. chaos, the Dog Lord ruthlessly killed the young chimpanzee. Consumed by fury and grief, the Lord of the Chimpanzees declared war on the Dog Kingdom. avenged his son's death. Alright, my fellow billionaires, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process I used to create this short movie trailer. I'll guide you through each stage to ensure everything is clear. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button so you're alerted when I upload new content. Your support will help YouTube recommend this video to other like-minded billionaires. I'll also be sharing a Google Doc with prompts and links to the AI tools I used, giving you a clearer understanding of the process and helping you use these tools more effectively. Let's head over to the Google Doc for a closer look. Here, you'll see the first prompt I use to generate a 500 word story with ChatGPT. All you need to do is copy the prompt from the document and paste it into ChatGPT to get started. A chimpanzee, who happened to be the Lord of the Apes, needs to avenge the death of his cousin, who was killed in a fire out by a dog and rabbit fight. The dog chases after the rabbit in the dense, cozy forest, shooting at him as they both ride a motorcycle, gunshots in the chase. As this happens, the dog accidentally hits a little chimpanzee trying to cross the road. When this happens, the rabbit turns his motorcycle and retreats, and when the lord of the chimpanzee heard it, he avenged his dead cousin by engaging in a war with the dog. Write a story using this short story as a guide. Make this engaging and intriguing. Make it 500 words long. After pasting, click enter for ChatGPT to generate the story. When done, go through the text accordingly to add or remove the words you do not like, and then we can proceed to the next step. So this is where we ask ChatGPT to generate a script scene for this paragraph. But mind you, we are going to be using the Google Doc for proper understanding. Like I said before, the link to the Google Doc will be in the description, so feel free to download it to follow along. Here's what I did. I copied the entire story into my Google Doc and organized it into chapters. As you can see, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six, and chapter seven, respectively. The reason for breaking it down this way is so that I can easily copy a chapter and paste it into ChatGPT, asking it to generate scenes specifically for that chapter. If we were to ask ChatGPT to generate scenes for the entire story at once, it might overlook some important details and only create scenes for certain parts. By focusing on one chapter at a time, 
we ensure that the scenes generated are accurate and cover all the essential aspects of the story. So we're going to copy chapter one and paste it into ChatGPT and then type in the following. Generate a script scene for this paragraph, chapter one. So looking at the script generated by ChatGPT, it was able to generate five scenes for chapter one alone. So like I said, by doing this, ChatGPT is able to concentrate on that particular chapter and generate scenes accordingly. Unlike when you ask it to generate the scenes for the entire story, the next step would be to generate the images for each scene generated for chapter one alone before moving on to chapter two. And this is where we ask ChatGPT to generate images for each scene according to the prompts. Let's take a look at the Google Doc. You'll notice that this is the third prompt in this section. If you're following along, go ahead and copy this prompt and paste it into ChatGPT to experience the full effect. The results are truly impressive. Now let's dive into the details. Here's a lush forest scene. And here we have the Lord of the Dogs. Next, you see the rabbit riding on its motorcycle. Notice how the Lord of the Dogs is shooting at the rabbit from behind while also riding a motorcycle. Finally, there's a top-down view of the entire chase scene. After generating our images for chapter one, it's time to move on to chapter two. All you need to do is return to the Google Doc where the story is pasted, find chapter two, copy it, and then head over to ChatGPT. Paste the chapter in, hit enter, and repeat the process just like we did for chapter one. Simply ask ChatGPT to generate a script scene for this paragraph in chapter two, and you're all set. By working through the story one chapter at a time, you can ensure that each scene is detailed and captures every vital aspect of the narrative. So in order to make this short, I would like you to go through the Google Doc and repeat the same process for all the chapters, just as I have shown before now, and I believe things would work out smoothly. All right, my fellow billionaires, now that we've successfully generated our script and images, it's time to bring those images to life through animation. There are several AI tools available to help you animate your images, each with its own strengths. One excellent tool you can use is Luma AI. It can create stunning animations, though the free plan can be a bit slow, sometimes taking hours to complete a single animation. Here's an example of an animation generated by Luma AI. Pretty impressive, right? Now let's talk about their pricing plans. As you can see on the screen, the monthly light plan is $10 for 70 generations per month. The standard plan is $30 for 150 generations. The plus plan is $65 for 310 generations. The Pro plan is $100 for 480 generations, and the Premier plan is $500 for 1,430 generations per month. If you prefer a yearly plan, they offer discounts to make it more affordable. Another AI tool I recommend is Kling AI. Here's an animation generated by Kling AI, another solid option. When Kling AI first launched, it was incredibly fast, producing images almost instantly. However, over time it has slowed down a bit, taking longer to complete animations. If you're interested in trying out Kling AI, they offer a free plan. And if you decide to go pro, here are the pricing options. The standard monthly plan gives you 660 credits for $10. The pro plan offers 3,000 credits for $37. And the premier plan gives you 8,000 credits for $192 per month. They also have a monthly saver option with a 12% discount and a yearly plan with a 34% discount. For this tutorial though, we'll be using Vidu AI. I'm not saying Vidu is better than the others, but I think it's the right fit for what we're doing today. Vidu also offers both free and pro plans. The standard plan is $10 for 320 credits. The advanced plan is $30 for 880 credits. And the premium plan is $100 for 2,960 credits. Currently, you can use Vidu for free, but to make things faster, you could just buy the standard $10 monthly plan. So let's dive into Vidu AI and start animating. To get started, you'll first need to register with your email. Once you've signed up, click on Create Video, and the dashboard for animating your images will open up. On the left-hand side, you'll see an option to either drag and drop your image or select it from your files. Click on that, find your image, and upload it. Once the image is done loading, click Create, and four credits will be deducted from your total. Now just wait for your image to be animated. So my fellow billionaires, here's the final animation. How would you rate this? Let me know in the comments below. To save time, let's generate the other images following the same steps I used for this one. When using Vidu AI, you have the option to include image prompts if you'd like, but it's also perfectly fine to generate the video without them. Feel free to experiment with both approaches and choose the one that works best for you. So, my fellow billionaire, what do you think about this AI tool? Place your comment below. I would like to advise the pro version if you want to use it for any commercial use. And of course, if you use the pro version, 
there won't be a need to remove the watermark. But if you are able to use the free version, you can use the following AI tools to remove the watermark. Canva, 123 apps, or ClipDrop, and the links to these would be in the description and also in the Google Doc. Next, we'll need to add background music and sound effects to our animation. For this, we'll be using Pixabay, and you can find the link in the description below. Once you've logged into Pixabay, head to the search bar at the top right, click on the arrow next to it, and you'll see a drop-down menu with several options. Choose sound effects to search for sound effects and music to search for background music. Take your time here to find the perfect tracks that fit your video. You might want to try searching for terms like dramatic or movie trailer for both the sound effects and music. I'm sure you'll find something amazing to enhance your video. Here's a helpful tip to make things easier. As you review your video, take note of the specific sound effects you'll need. For example, does your video feature gunshots, a motorcycle in motion, or an explosion? If so, use this as a cue to search for sound effects that match those elements like gunshots, motorcycle sounds, or explosions. This approach will help you find the right sound effects to perfectly complement your video. The final step is to bring everything together, sound effects, background music, and the animated videos. This part may take some time, but with patience, you'll be able to create a polished and cohesive final product. Here's what to do in CapCut. Number one, input the videos, sound effects, voiceover, and background music. Number two, adjust the videos accordingly, adding fade animation effects at the end of each video. Number three, reduce the sound effect and background music wherever the voiceover is present, as this would help make the voiceover audible enough to be heard. Number four, make sure to adjust the background music and sound effects where applicable. This depends on your personal preference. Number five, add the mistletoe filter to make it have the movie effect. Number six, export when satisfied. And that would be all guys. So my fellow billionaires, I do hope this video was helpful. If you gained anything from this video, you can smash the subscribe button like and share this video. Also, if there is any video you want me to create or any idea or suggestion, please feel free to use the comment box. I hope to serve you better. See you in my next post.